Hey everybody, so for brunch I had a banana and a bagel. Um, for lunch I didn't really, I, I guess that was brunch, right? Um, and then before dinner I had like a roll and um, a banana and some chocolate, but that wasn't really structured enough to be considered like, you know, it, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and if I've already had brunch, what 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 is the food called between brunch and dinner? You know, I, I had that food. Um, and then for dinner, I had um, fish tacos, and that was pretty tasty. I'm just hanging out today. Um, today is sort of my last sick day, the last day in which I would consider myself sick. I'm not sick anymore. Um, I was sort of basing this last sick day off of my uh, how I felt yesterday, and how I felt yesterday was like like just about there and today I'm just about there again it's just instead of exercising today I am um, just slept in uh, like how I did on a normal sort of functional sick day um, so um, I'm feeling a lot better now I don't have therapy today so that's why it's Friday and I'm not talking about going to therapy um, and yeah so I just today I woke up at uh, 5 40 really I woke up at like 5 really I woke up at like 6 frankly um, uh, and then I did some schoolwork. Um, I did this schoolwork. Um, so something I was under the impression of is I thought all of this was due on the 17th. Um, but I was looking at the work again, like on the actual Canvas page, and I was wrong. I don't know when any of this is due. I think I might just not have to do this, but don't quote me on that. Maybe the assignment just isn't created yet. Um, but it does look like for sure um, it does look like all of this dictionary stuff is actually due on the 24th. So I have to do this and this. So I was under the impression I had to do all of this before the 17th, but actually I just have to finish, uh, I actually just have to finish these two things and these three things. And I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I saw a really funny, um, not funny, I don't know. I didn't find it, I don't know. I, I, I saw this, uh, this YouTube short that was, you know, intending to be comedic. And it was talking about um, uh, how people are in high school versus college. Um, and I considered it pretty interesting. Um, I, it, it was basically just the whole thesis of the video is about how in high school you're like very busy and you're, and the main character was part of all these clubs. And he was also doing like a whole bunch of extracurricular activities and also like really busy with school and also doing like band and all these other things. And then in college, it's like, oh my God, you know, I barely got any sleep last night because I have to go to this 10 a.m. class, you know, and it's just like, you know, the, the, the dichotomy between these two, um, you know, high school where you're uh, very, very astute and like doing all these things and uh, are really caring and then college where it's like you're kind of slacking off a little bit time-wise, you know, you just, uh, from their perspective, it was like you have less work to do. And I found that very interesting because from my perspective, it's completely the opposite. Um, and I think it's just because I'm going to community college um, and the uh, the protagonist in this short and the sort of intended audience of this short is for people who are going to community college, who are either going to some sort of private institution or going to uh, like, <laughs> like a fancy university, you know? Um, and, you know, in that context, uh, you know, you are doing a bunch of extracurriculars and you're doing all these things outside of school and you are doing like AP classes and you're doing all these things. Um, be and the whole, you know, reason to is so then you can get into these like really fancy institutions. So, uh, so then uh, you have a, you know, you can make better connections in college and also the diploma, you know, looks better than diplomas from other places, you know? Um, and, you know, that's kind of the goal. And it seems like, don't quote me on this, it seems like, you know, the four years you're in high school, you're really locking in to get the good grades and do all these things, so then you get into an institution. But then once you're in the institution, unless you're, like, already into something, the institution was sort of the goal. Um, and unless you're going into, like, computer science or, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, what, what if people go in other than computer science? Like, engineering, you know, like, like civil engineering? I don't know. Uh, unless you, like, are going into, like, a hard STEM field, the goal was the institution, you know? Um, and so I, I just find it interesting because, from my perspective, I wasn't working too hard in high school at all. I was kind of slacking off. 
I, you know, I, I, I had, uh, you know, all A's except for my math class in senior year. I think I had a C in my math class in my senior year. But other than that, I had all A's in high school, right? I was locking in a little bit, but it was kind of easy, you know? I, I don't know. Um, and I wasn't taking uh, my high school's equivalent of AP, uh, which was called IB for International Baccalaureate. Um, I wasn't taking, I was doing full IB, which means I wasn't doing exclusively IB classes. Um, and so that was definitely a lot off my plate. A lot of the people who were doing full IB looked like they just wanted to like kill themselves all the time. Um, so I'm happy I didn't have to do that. But I was doing jazz band and I was doing some stuff outside of school. Um, and, you know, I was, you know, trying hard on the schoolwork. You know, I was, I was working hard. And uh, it's just a little strange because um, from my perspective, now that I'm in college, I'm doing a whole lot more work. Um, and that's just interesting to me because, um, I don't know, I just, it, it was just one of those things where I saw this video where I was just so obviously not the target audience and it's had sort of enlightened me to like this thing I hadn't even thought of, like, like this, this concept that I hadn't even thought of since high school where people are going through this experience of locking in hard on high school so then, you know, they can get to this institution as opposed to, you know, <laughs> just like, Doing like doing like a normal amount of work in high school and then working harder in college because it's like supposed to be harder um, And then you know you you get a job or whatever, which is what I'm doing, right? And I just found that interesting because I hadn't I kind of forgotten that that was a thing that people went through um, Since I got out of high school, um, but yeah, that's just an interesting thought of mine um, Nothing's really going on today. Oh at like at like I want to say 10 a.m. at around 10 a.m. this morning, um, this crazy thing happened to me. I was uh, just sitting here doing my schoolwork and I was, uh, I got a little distracted. I was just on Wikipedia, you know, whenever I have a day where my phone's off the whole day and it's like a full, like locked in schoolwork day. And I can probably count the amount of days I've had on that since on like on two hands, you know, Pro I, uh, probably under 10 of those days I've had because I haven't had to because a lot of the time I can just manage my time pretty well. and. Um, the reason why today was one of those days was because I was under the impression that I had all this schoolwork to do, which ended up not being the case, but that's actually okay because it just means that I'm more ahead than I needed to be. Um, uh, in a day like that, uh, the times where I'm kind of slacking off or not really paying attention to homework, um, instead of being on my phone or, uh, you know, looking at Wikipedia. Uh, and so, Speaking of that, you know, it's kind of good that I'm doing that instead of being on my phone because instead of looking at like rap TV Instagram posts, um, I learned about how white chocolate um, is the newest form of chocolate out of milk and dark chocolate um, and how, uh, you know, it was brought to America in the early 1900s, uh, but it never really got like truly popular um, until uh, the 1980s in 1984 when a Hershey company released something something called like it was called like arctic ice or something it was like some sort of white chocolate candy bar um that came out uh, that sort of popularized white chocolate in america and it's interesting because white chocolate was never really in america like fully like in the culture you know since 1984 and that's relatively recent for um chocolate which seems like sort of a forever thing you know um but anyway uh you know i was looking at wikipedia i was just doing these things Oh, the chocolate thing was later. I was looking at Wikipedia about an unrelated thing. And, um, yeah, it was interesting because my vision all of a sudden got really blurry, right? And sometimes this thing happens where, like, my eyes are unfocused, but I can't really refocus my eyes. Um, it, it's, it's like they are unfocused, but then I have to put a lot of effort into refocusing them, right? And it takes, like, eight or ten seconds, and then once my eyes are refocused, it's, like, super normal, and it's fine. Uh, but that happened, I was like, oh, that's weird. Um, but then, then it kind of felt like I was sort of indulging in it, like I was sort of indulging in this sort of blurry vision. Um, and that was very strange because it was like, you know, what's going on, what's going on, you know, and it just kept happening. It was getting a little dark and I was like, whoa. So, so I, you know, I, I moved back from my chair. I was like looking at it. I was like thinking, and it was becoming like a little hard to move. So sort of in like a weird sort of. I don't know why I did this, but I kind of pushed my feet back and I went back in my chair like this, right? And I was up against the door and I was looking like, and I was just looking like, I think I was looking down, 
Um, and I was like, okay, something crazy is happening because it, it felt very weird. Like I couldn't really hear all that well and like my vision was kind of dark and everything was like, you know those memes where it's like you're now manually blinking? I'm sorry for making you manly, manually blink, but you know those memes? Uh, it was kind of like that. It was like I was like manually doing everything with my face and it was getting kind of dark and it was getting kind of quiet and it was weird and like these things were in my vision. I was like, oh my god. So. I exited my room. I was like, hey dad, I don't want to alarm you, but something weird's happening, right? <laughs> like something's going on. And I was describing it to him. He's like, oh yeah, that just happens when you get older. And I don't know if he was just saying that to calm me down and he didn't know what was going on or if this is like a real phenomena that occurs. And if so, I don't know the name of it, but it was really weird. And he was like, oh yeah, you should just lay down. You should just lay down on the couch. I was like, okay. So I laid down and, uh, well, at first I sat down on the couch and it wasn't going away. And I was sort of just like, it was very strange how I was still lucid because it, the state I was in seemed like a state that you would be in before you pass out. Um, but it was really weird because I didn't pass out and I was just very lucid in this, like almost like it felt like I was on some sort of hallucinogen or something. It was like a very strange sort of uh, like body experience. I was like, it was very strange and everything was dark. And I couldn't really hear and there were these things in my vision and it was very strange. Um, and then I laid down and it almost all immediately went away. It was very strange and I don't know what was up with that. Uh, and then that didn't really happen for the rest of the day. That kind of happened last night as I was going to bed and that was a little scary and I kept checking my heart to see if my heart was still beating. Um, and of course my heart was still beating because that's not something, I feel like if your heart stopped beating, that's not one of those things where you can check. Like I feel like you would know if your heart stopped beating, you know, so I, um, it's just one of those. Um, but uh, that's a similar thing was happening last night, but not to the fullest extent, but then at like 10 a.m. this morning, it was like a, a very like sort of strong experience. It was very strange. Um, but yeah, other than that it was fine. And I did my schoolwork and yeah, then my mom came home and then we had fish tacos and that was pretty tasty and nothing else is really going on. Uh, yeah.